right guys, we're back with another vlog today. And today's topic is gonna be the Michelin Pilot Cup 2 tires. Now, the Michelin Pilot Cup 2 tire, as uh, many of you know, some of you might not know, is the pretty much benchmark, or we'll call it the premier, streetable tracking competition tire, or streetable R comp tire, okay? Um, it, it, I mean, by far, you guys, Michelin with the uh, Cup 2, at least especially when it came out, I mean, it, it set the benchmark for grip, um, especially re refinable street grip that you can use on a track. That's, uh, it, it, I mean, they use some pretty, pretty cutting edge technology. I'm pretty sure they even have a separate molding process for those tires uh, when they develop those tires. Um, the, uh, the, kind of the, car, the kind of cars that wear the Cup 2s is another also, it's another strong, strong sign of the, of the level of development and the, the level of performance that the Cup 2 represents. Uh, cars like the uh, Ferrari 458 uh, Speciale, the Porsche 918, um, the uh, AMG GTS cars will have those. Um, even something like the, the, the Mustang GT350 R would wear uh, something as, uh, as uh, hardcore as the Cup 2. Now, my main issue with the Cup 2s, you guys, uh, you know, and we, like I said, we can't get past their quality, uh, their development, um, that kind of a thing. But my main issue with the Cup 2s is, and I'm going to say it, I don't think the Michelin Cup 2 is worth the money at all. Not even close. Yes, I said it, ladies and gentlemen, it is not worth the money. It's not, it's, it, it, you'd have to be foolish, I think, to purchase the, the tire. Now, this is why. Um, and again, now we know they come on the uh, the hardcore sports cars and that kind of thing. I think most of the, the time when you find that those uh, those tires are fitted to any vehicle, basically, it's usually a very, very limited edition, very expensive vehicle, something very high horsepower, okay? So it, when, you, when you're building or developing a car like that, and you're gonna, you're gonna put the tires on it, it's something, probably the most important thing, um, you wanna put the best, right? You're not gonna put garbage on a car that costs three hundred fifty thousand dollars, right? So you want to show the prospective buyer uh, and, the, and the, the new owners that you put the best on, right? So you're going to put the best goddamn tire on it, which is the Michelin Pilot Cup Two. Now, this is the ZL1 Camaro Track Enthusiast page. So I'm talking to track enthusiasts, people who like to track, uh, people who just enjoy track time and the Camaros. People who do track time, you guys, you know that we're gonna go through our uh, replaceable parts, or uh, we'll call them wear parts, very, very quickly. Brake pads, tires, especially tires, it's insane. Rotors, fluid, you know, that kind of thing. Diff fluid, that kind of thing. So we're, um, you know, we still wanna perform, but at the same time, there's a lot of expense to it. So you're not just gonna throw the money away. At least most people aren't, okay? I mean, for God's sakes, even the race crews, uh, they still mind their money basically here. But uh, my, my main issue with the Cup 2 is the pricing. And it's, and it's level in the market. Now, like I said, it's a very refined track tire. Um, I mean, it's unbelievable that it's a streetable R comp tire. So yeah, it's refined, it's relatively quiet. Um, it's smooth, it balances up well, it holds up well, but at the cost, and, that, and, and, and what cost? And then what cost for what performance? And that's what I'm trying to get into a little bit more deeper into this section here. Now, um, uh, what I looked up this afternoon was uh, some, some comparison information done by, um, by a, a website in the UK. And they did a track evaluation between the Cup 2s, the Michelin uh, Pilot 4 and 4S. Um, during the comparison, and I know the 4S is basically caught, uh, it's caught up, or the, 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 we'll call them the mid to higher levels, not the highest, or they're moving up. Um, so most likely the Cup 2s will probably move up. I'm hearing the Cup 2R is on the way out, basically. But the bottom line is, the, uh, the Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3 that comes on the Camaro ZL1 right now, stock, is an extreme performance tire, which means it's a street tire, it's a streetable tire that you can use for the track, okay? It's not a track tire that you can legally use on the street like the Cup 2s, it's one notch below. But the main advantage, other than I think it was designed for the Camaro, and you can tell by those uh, those, just those big fat tread uh, tread blocks or shoulder blocks on the uh, on the tr on the tread pattern itself. Um, is the cost? That's the main thing that I have with the the Michelin Cup twos, and that's what I was going to dive into here. So the uh, the the gap between the 4S and the Michelin Cup two during that uh, test, they were basically showing it was a point, point 0.6 meters, 0 0.6 meters in stopping. This is dry performance that we're gonna be focusing on you guys because we're, uh, we're track people. Um, 
So yeah, 0. 0.6 meters. I mean, again, when you're avoiding smashing into a wall or another car, I mean, every little bit helps. Um, but 0. 0.6 meters, uh, it, we're talking like maybe less than two feet difference. And so it's not a very, very substantial difference. Um, in terms of handling on a, on a dry uh, road course, the handling difference between the 4S and the uh, Cup 2s was 0. 0.46 seconds. So less than half a second gap, which is significant if we're racing but if we're out there tracking, having fun, you know, de developing driving skills, that kind of thing, I don't see how anybody would purchase the Cup 2. It's just, it's not worth the money. The, 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 the Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3 is better than the 4S, and, and mainly because of its design and the compound. But if, if you compare the, the, the Cup 3, or excuse me, the, uh, uh, the Supercar 3 compared to the, the 4S, the 4S has these little tiny tread blocks uh, or shoulder blocks on the tread pattern, and it, that tells me that thing is not designed for heavy, heavy sustained quartering. Obviously, also too, <clears throat> if it's a summer tire or a max performance summer tire, as opposed to an extreme performance summer tire like the uh, Cup uh, Supercar <laughs> Threes. Excuse me, you guys, it gets confusing. Um, the 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 heat cycles, it's 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 going to fall apart. Basically, the bottom line is when they separate performance tires into performance ranges, the bottom line is what they're separating them in, basically, guys, is compound and temperature, or op operating temperature range, excuse me. So the uh, the R comps are going to have the highest temperature or op operating temperature range, your extreme performance a little bit lower, and then your max performance lower than that. So the 4S would not hold up on a track for any sustained Let's say sessions, let's say, you know, 20 minutes, you know, 15, 18 minutes of track driving at the limit, you're kind of wondering, is this thing going to start to melt? Is it going to start to fall apart? And then how many heat cycles can it take before it basically gets very hard and vulcanizes um, and starts to uh, just not grip? So my main issue is that Michelin still is still charging what they're charging for the Cup 2s, which is $2,000, $2,058 with heat cycling. Uh, to your door from tire rack, okay? That, that's insane. Now I can get a set of the uh, the Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3, which are the OEM uh, set tires for the Camaro ZL1 and the Camaro SS1 LEs. Um, those go for $1,179 shipped to your door. And they come about maybe five days later, you'll get a, a letter from uh, tire rack that has the rebate notice for $100 off. So you mail that in and Goodyear will send you the rebate card or one of those little uh, uh, credit cards with the, it's got the value set on it basically so you can just use it as, as you need. But they'll send you that in the mail. So effectively the, 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 the total price of the tires is it's less than, it's less than $1,100. So $1,079 compared to the Cup 2s with the heat cycling, that's most likely what you're going to end up doing, you guys. If you're going to get a, if you're going to get an R comp, it's 2,058. Without the heat cycling, I think it's uh, it comes to 19, 1960. So when you break it down, 1976, excuse me. So when you break down the differences in the price, you've got we're talking again. It's a 0.46 second difference between less than half a second difference between the 4S and the Cup 2s, and I know. Just, I mean, just from a basic, you know, track kind of knowledge and standpoint, I'm pretty sure that the the, uh, the, the supercar threes will kick the ass of the uh, of the, uh, the four S, especially on a sustained, like I said, track session. And they cost 77 to 83 percent less than the standard OEM tire that you put on the uh, on the Camaro ZL1. So I, I just, there's no way in hell that the quarter of a second difference that you're most likely gonna get or you could possibly get, um, or maybe a little bit less as the uh, less fade and drop or uh, the, an increase in lap times, excuse me, as the sessions continue, I just, I, I can't, I can't see that that's gonna, that's worth, it's worth double the price basically, or damn near double the price. Uh, it just, it seems a little abusive, you know what I mean? So, um, I mean, personally, you guys, from this uh, track enthusiast and a pretty hardcore track guy, and do as much track time as humanly possible, uh, and I've been around a little bit, not forever, but a little bit. Um, there's no way in hell that Cup 2 makes sense for anybody who does any any kind of consistent uh, track time. I think it's more of like a statement tire, basically. <laughs> you know, you pull up in your uh, hardcore Porsche or your uh, your hardcore Ferrari or something like that, and everybody's like, oh, he's got the Cup 2s on it too. And sitting there talking about, I wonder how much those cost. Yeah, with our over $2,000, most likely. Uh, and it is what it is. I mean, if you want to spend the money, you can. It's a, you know, it's your money. Um, but for a, for a track guy like me who um, 
recently bought two sets of tires at, at the same time, um, including you know rotors, pads, you know brake fluid, diff fluid, um, all that stuff. You know, you spend a good amount of money. You want to you get you try and learn to cut costs wherever you can. Um, and that's another thing too, in terms of uh, cutting costs, I, I might mention to you guys as well, gmparts.com. It's an absolutely amazing resource for buying uh, great parts for the ZL1 if you do a lot of track time. Um, uh, no joke, I got the parts you guys at 46% off dealer price, and it comes with a notice in the package saying that you can return the parts at the dealer window and get credit, um, or if there's an issue, if you order the wrong part, you can get the right part at the window for the same price. So that's kind of insane. So remember, gmparts.com. Um, so anyways, you guys, I, I think Chevy really did their homework when they uh, when they designed the ZL1 and the 1LE vehicles. They put the right tires on them. They are the best tire by far. Um, I, I just can't imagine, like I said, uh, uh, unless you're in a competition, spending you know almost double the price is uh, is worth the uh, the very very small um, decrease in lap times, or you know most likely maybe that slight increase in consistency in your lap times. So um, again, it's more supercar tire for supercars. I think in the meantime, stick with my good years, uh, and I did take advantage of the rebates on both of those. So I got. <coughs> effectively each set for uh, 1079 or 1079 for each set so for less than $2,200 I got two sets of track tires that I can also uh, I can I can daily drive so effectively what I'm going to be doing at my next two track events which is going to be Willow excuse me not Willow Springs we're going to be doing Laguna Seca and we're also going to be doing um, uh, Auto Club I'm going to be using a fresh set of new tires OEM Supercar 3s um, for each event and then I'll use the, the, the rest of the beef or the carcass of the tire uh, for just uh, just normal everyday kind of daily driving because I do daily drive my ZL1. Um, so yeah, it kind of works out. It's very, very cost effective. You're, you're, uh, you, you're able to track with a brand new fresh set of tires every time you go out. Um, it saves you quite a bit of money. And also to you guys remember, like I said, gmparts.com. It's an amazing resource to save cash, especially for those track junkies out there who are going through their brake parts and stuff like that really quick. Um, it's like I said, 46% savings. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section, what you guys think of the uh, the Michelin Pilot Cup 2s, if anybody's had any experience with them. And again, not to bash you guys, I know it's a superior tire. Um, I just don't think it's anywhere near worth the money. Um, uh, effectively, I, I don't know, man. I guess some people could say it's even like some of the cars uh, that... that uh, that wear those tires. I mean, they're very, very quick. They're objects of desire, uh, very rare, very special, high-end, developed with the utmost technology, but there are cars like a ZL1 1LE that would beat the shit out of them. You know what I mean? For like one-fifth the price. So uh, again, I mean, some of us want to have fun. You know, they want the bang for the buck. Um, some people, God bless them, um, you know, and we work hard, they can buy nice things which is great. And I work my ass off to buy what I have, but uh, um, you know, if they want to, they want the best for what they have and it's the best to them and it probably is the best if it wears those tires, they can stick with them. Anyways, you guys kind of interested to see what you guys think. Leave some comments in the comment section below. If you guys are enjoying the videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button to catch all the new videos. And we got some good videos coming up. Some, hopefully some uh, pretty exciting footage from, uh, from Laguna Seca. And that's, uh, that's, that's a big one for me, you guys. That's uh, like straight up bucket list track for me. Uh, and then we'll have some exciting, uh, footage hopefully too from Auto Club and uh, I will be running a time trial at at least Auto Club I don't know if I'll be doing the time trial um, at uh, Laguna Seca it's gonna be my first visit there so I don't want to hot dog it right out the gate and do something stupid <laughs> especially with that corkscrew but uh, thanks again for watching you guys hope you enjoyed the video I'll catch you guys on the next one bye